My name is Arieldi. I'm going to show you today how to replace the EGR on your early 2000s Mercedes-Benz M112, M113 engines. I'm doing the EGR on this. I already removed it from my other vehicle. We're going to start by taking these intake pipes off. Here we are, the beautiful M113 engine. This is a S500. I do have leaking valve covers, which all of them do. Is that a crack on my intake? And check that out. I don't know if that's a surface crack or there's a legit crack. I'll have to look into that too. But first, let's start by taking this off. This right here is a 24 millimeter. Couple light taps just to take this connector off. Okay, we got the injector connector off so we can get to that one bolt. Maybe we'll have to also loosen this for the fuel rail. Take a look at that later. So the EGR is clean, it's not clogged or anything like that. Both sides are super clean, but this transducer, I believe they call this, the transducer in here fails on these and it causes the check engine to be on. All of the lines look to be in good condition, so it's not leaking vacuum anywhere. That's the intake manifold. I poked around a little bit. It doesn't seem to be all the way through. However, it likely will go all the way through eventually. So I will have to replace that. Uh, I might just remove it from the other car to put onto this one. I'm going to take some brake clean to clean this a little bit before I put it on. This is a soft bristle brush. You just want to clean it a little bit so that the sealing surface is good. Okay, so that's what it looks like after. I cleaned this a little bit with uh, a wire brush. Uh, make a nice ceiling surface for this. Gasket in there like that. torque make sure you put the vacuum hose in the back there put your clip the connector in clip the connector in for the injector install this flexible pipe that goes to the back of the intake the 24 millimeter install this vacuum line also and if you guys did take the screws off like I did here make sure you get those on also we're gonna put the covers on Make sure that this back seals up. I don't force this. OK, 
Okay, you should be able to feel the back on this engine because you do have a lot of room. Feel it, make sure it's tight. Mine is good in there. This cover on. There you have it, guys. That's how you replace an EGR on an M112 or an M113 engine. The process is about the same on both of them. Here you also clear the fault codes. If you don't have a scanner, you can go to a advanced auto parts or AutoZone, something like that. They can clear the fault for you, or you can also drive it. So subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching.